friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I'd like to show you how to paint everyone's favorite snowy owl, Hedwig, from Harry Potter. If you're a Harry Potter fan, this will be a fun one. You need a pencil, some paper, watercolors, and some watercolor brushes with a tip. So let's go grab your stuff and get started. Now this type of paper that I have here is not watercolor paper, it's mixed media. So any type of paper that's thicker will work great. If you only have copy paper, you can use that, but it doesn't really absorb the water. First thing we're gonna do is take a pencil and we're gonna sketch very lightly just the general shape of Hedwig. We don't wanna put heavy pencil lines in there because when you paint, those will show up. So if you notice his body is like an oblong oval shape, so the first thing we're gonna do is sketch an oval. I'm gonna draw a little bit darker so you can see, but when you sketch, just draw dark enough so that you remember where the lines were. Okay, then we're gonna come to the top and we're gonna make a semicircle. Now, if you think this is a little bit skinny because he's more wide at the top, just adjust your lines. And then his wing comes in. We're not gonna draw his wing all the way to the top. We're just gonna draw a line up, okay? And this is just guidelines. So we're gonna erase these and make them a little lighter. And then when we paint, we can fill in the details. Come down here. And we're gonna angle his tail upward like that. Good. And then right here is where his foot's gonna be. So we're going to draw just some loose lines and a couple of curved claws. And make a branch, he's sitting on a branch, so come straight out. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. And then he is holding the letter, the infamous letter that went to Harry Potter so that he could go to Hogwarts. So we're gonna make a rectangle. And this is the back of the letter, so we're gonna put like the red seal. Good, now up to where the head is, owls have really big eyes. If you ever see a, eye, a skull of an owl, you will see that most of it is their eyes. So. I'm gonna make like a straight line across, and I'm gonna make a circle underneath. And then inside, make another circle, or oval, oval is fine too. And then we're gonna color in, but leave a little bit of white. Just color in really light, we'll paint that in. If you leave a white dot in the black, that is reflected light it'll make the eyes come to life. And then for his beak, come in between the eyes, a little bit down, make a triangle, and then curve it down. And you can add some feather lines. Good. So that's a basic shape. If you want, you could add a couple little lines here to show where his neck, and we're curving our lines. If you draw really flat lines, your picture will look flat if you use straight lines. But if you use curved lines, like things in nature are organic, so they're curved. Then what I'm gonna do, because we're gonna watercolor and I don't want all these lines to show, take your big eraser and you're gonna erase what you drew, but leave enough there so that you can see your marks. This was just to give us a guide while we paint. Those eyes are a little dark, so I'm gonna lighten those. I don't know if you could tell by the video, but I could still see this. And then you wanna make sure you get all this eraser off your page. Now the next step is the fun part, the painting. So we're gonna take our paints. I'm gonna move my Harry Potter book to a safe spot so I don't get that all full of paint. Activate our paints again, that just gets them going so that they're, they flow easier. Okay. 
And these paints are kind of a fun paint. They're a Prima Confection, the classics. But you can use Crayola, any color paints, any kind of paints, I should say. So we're gonna do the grays in the owl first. So you want a bigger brush, you don't want a tiny brush. Put some water on your brush, and I have gray right here. And if you want your gray lighter, you add more water. If you want it darker, you add more paint. So what we're gonna first do is just add in some gray. Now you don't need to draw in all the details. We just wanna add some kind of a really light outline of where um, Hedwig's wing goes. And then by his neck, and just add a little there, keeping it really, really light. Now let's say you made a line and it was way too dark, because you can always add more paint, but it's hard to take away like that. It's really dark. Take a Kleenex and you just soak it up like that. If it's not exactly how you want it, that's okay. We'll just work with it. Watercolors are kind of fun because they're a little bit unpredictable, but that also makes them a little annoying sometimes. Okay, to show some shadow, we're gonna leave some white spaces. Don't paint it all gray, but we're gonna add a little bit of white, or a little bit of gray, sorry, right here along the nose. Like I said, it doesn't take a lot of paint. And then under his head, a little bit more. Okay. And then just a little bit, a few touches here or there on his body. Now under his wing, it's going to be darker. So if you want, you could add just a touch of black. So you can mix, get a little bit of black, add it to your gray. Let's see what that does. See how dark that is? I'm not gonna add a lot, we're just gonna add a little bit under his wing. Now his tail feathers are gonna be under the shadow of his wings. We want this darker gray too. So just add some dark in there, but leave some white. And you want to paint the direction of his feathers. Okay, if we start painting the feathers this way, it's not gonna look like his feathers, right? Okay. And then we're gonna put a little bit here by his feet. All right. Next, let's, let's do the eyes. Now to do the eyes, we're gonna have a smaller brush. And you wanna make sure that this area here around the eyes is dry, because if you paint wet on wet, the colors will run together. So we're gonna get some yellow. Oh, and my brush is dirty. And now I got my yellow paints dirty. Can you see that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna soak up the dirty water. Make sure I have a clean brush like this. Get some yellow on there. I'm gonna paint right underneath where the black will be. But I'm not gonna paint the black yet. I'll come back to that. When you're watercolor painting, you paint one area, let it dry and come back. And his beak is black, so I'm gonna get some black. I'm gonna paint his beak. Now, if I wanna show reflected light again, I'm gonna leave one little spot white on the beak. Okay, like that. Good. Now, while that's drying, let's go down and work on the feet. So I'm just going to keep my small brush and put on some more gray. And I'm going to outline. He kind of has fuzzy feet. So it doesn't have to be real detailed. You just have to give the illusion of some feet. And then there's going to be one up here. Okay. And the toenails, again, black like the beak. Oops. And we're going to curve them. So make sure you do a curved line. And kind of come up. See how mine's kind of running, but it's okay. I'm just going to work with it. 
I have a little bit too much water on my brush. And I think they have three talons. So I'm just gonna draw a little bit there, but we're not gonna see that whole one because that's behind the letter. Good. Now, while that's drying, let's go back up to the eyes because I think, yep, that's dry. So we're gonna add a little black. Have kind of a dry brush for this because you don't want a lot of water running everywhere. We're gonna fill in the black and we're gonna leave a little white spot. And if you're painting and it starts running all over, just soak it up. And then we'll just, you just work with it. All right, now it's kind of hard. We're gonna be doing all these feathers. But before we do that, I think we need to get some of the background because you don't want to just focus on one spot of the painting and not the rest because then it starts looking really weird. So I'm gonna take a really big brush and I'm just gonna take some blue. Now make sure that this, you if this is wet, you leave a little space, okay? And I'm just gonna start filling in the blue. Now this blue that I have in here is really bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of gray. And we'll see if that, see how that makes it kind of grayish? So we're just gonna fill this in. And it's okay if your colors mix. You just wanna keep a white space between your colors and the owl right now, between Hedwig, because you do not want Hedwig to start disappearing into the sky. If it does, just soak it up, let it dry for a while and come back to it. Oops, there's a little bit of green in there. That's okay. Get a little more blue. And if you wanna add more details, just take more time. And you don't have to finish your painting all in one setting. You can work on it and come back and paint more colors and layers on top. I thought as a kid, you just painted your picture and you were done. But as I got older, I realized, oh no, you can go back to it. Okay. Now we're gonna need some blue down here. Remember we have the letter and we have this uh, branch that he's sitting on. So I'm gonna go around that. I'm just gonna fill in some. If you have some white spaces, that's okay. That adds interest. That blue got a little dark, but that's okay. We're just gonna leave it and see what happens. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the, the uh, tree branch and I'm gonna use some brown. Ooh, that's really dark. I'm gonna lighten that up and just put that branch in there. And remember, if it starts running together with the background, just take your Kleenex or your napkin or paper towel and just dab it up. He's starting to come to life. All right, now we're gonna do the letter. Now, if I were you, I would kind of let this dry before you did the letter, but because of, I don't want this video to be super long, I'm gonna do the letter right now. So go down and get a little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown, or whatever color you want your letter to be. It's just kind of a creamy envelope. And we're just gonna outline it. And that is not even dark enough. So we're gonna outline the letter like that. Come down. Hedwig's one of my favorite characters. He doesn't even have a line. And then the seal is red. So you just want to go in the middle and do a red seal. And it's kind of round, but it's made of wax. So you want the edge a little bit rough. Now, if you think that's too bright, just take your Kleenex or whatever you have and dab it. Okay. Now let's go back and do the feathers. Okay, now as you can see from this headwig, it has a lot more details of the feathers. So we're gonna add some 
gray lines going down, but we're also gonna add some black lines going across to show the spots. And we also need to add some black highlights on the top of the head and by the eyes. So to do that, I think I'm going to use my smaller brush. Actually, I'm gonna use my medium brush uh, for the wing, but I'm gonna use a smaller brush for the eyes. Let's go in, make sure this is dry. You want some black on your brush, but you don't want it drippy wet, okay? Because you want to do details. So we're gonna go in and we're just gonna add like some lines right above the eye like that. And this pupil, I'm gonna darken it a little bit more. Okay, that's all we needed to add to that. And now we're gonna add a few lines to separate up here his head. So we're just gonna add a few lines and you want the feather lines to go the direction of the real feathers. Notice I'm not painting a solid line just painting in a few suggested lines. Okay. Now this part looks very flat on him, so I'm going to add a little bit more really light gray. I'm going to mostly water, but I'm going to add some shadows here, and that's still too dark for me, so I'm going to soak that up a little bit. So it's kind of fun because you can, if you paint something that you don't really, you don't really like where it's going, just take your Kleenex or paper towel. I'm going to paint it the direction of the feathers. I'm going to soak a little bit of it up. I'm going to make sure I leave some white. Now I need a little more definition of where his neck is. So I'm gonna again, get a little more black, like a darker gray going. I'm gonna add some lines here. And maybe a little bit more black. Okay. So see, as you put some of those in there, it really brings it to light. Okay, now I'm gonna add a few diagonal gray lines. Notice I'm not putting them all over, I'm just putting a few. Let's see how that makes it more dimensional, more 3D looking. It's a 2D surface. We're gonna add some shadows to make it look more 3D. Now see, I got that too dark, so what I'm gonna do is just paint some water on top and then I can lift out some of the color. So like right here, I thought I got that a little dark, so I'm gonna put a little water, and I'm gonna lift out. Once it dries, it's really hard to lift it out, but it can be done, a little bit. And then I'm gonna get some more black, and I'm gonna paint, go, now this time I'm gonna go across, but I'm gonna go kind of at a curve. So I'm just gonna paint some like random, kind of like a little, U shapes. So you just need a few of them. You want them to go across so it looks like a feather because they're really at the tip of the feather. And then I'm going to add a few black lines down here. So every time you paint this head wig, it's going to look out look different. So if you paint it one time and oh, I didn't like that. It did not come out right. Just try it again. As you can see, this head week's coming out different than my other one, but that's okay. All right, now this needs a little more black, I think, down in the tail. I'm just gonna add a little bit of black. You wanna be careful with black because black can start dominating your whole picture if you use a lot of black. And if you notice, I got a little bit of warm brown, like very watery brown. You could add a little bit of brown to Hedwig. If you want, just in a few spots, just put a little bit of brown. Just adds a little more color. 
And if it's too brownish, just soak it up. Now by speed, I'm gonna add a little bit more grayish brown right here. And maybe just a little bit of black over here. Just a little bit. And I don't like that white spot there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of blue and just kind of work it into the painting and get close, but try not to. And if you see, over here I had the darker color, but I can paint blue on top of it. That makes it like a, it's called a wash. And if your paint isn't flowing, just add a little bit more water. And there you have it. Hedwig from Harry Potter. I hope you had fun today. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, Little Woods Art, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.